In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how you know what your ORP set point should be. So this is a really common question we get. In our video on the ozone skid panel, we show you how to set the set point. It's pretty easy, just the main screen, you just tap right there. Uh, but again, you can go watch that video for that. Again, a common question is, I've got my system up and running, uh, what does my set point need to be? The answer is, it depends. Uh, every system we do will fall within kind of a general range. But having said that, we're dropping this system into a unique set of variables and circumstances. And so that's why they're all custom designed. There's a lot of things that happen between where the water is being treated at the system here and then where it's actually getting to the plant. And you know, those are things like what's the temperature of the water in route, how many turns in the piping, what's the size of the piping, how far does it have to go, what kind of irrigation equipment are you using. There's so many different things and there's no formula for us to be able to account for all that. So what we must do is we must test at the plant, so I'm just going to say out of the dripper, whatever, whatever, however it is you're irrigating, we need to be able to test the water where it's being used and then say, okay, this is below my you know, optimum range, so I'm, then I'm going to come back and adjust my system, you know, in that case up, but it may be down as well. So again, we need to test and then adjust. It's also important to, to note that there are two different set points that we need to take into consideration here. The first set point is what we're going to cover in this video, and that set point is uh, what the set point is under normal operation mode. So this is just normal us treating your water, sending it out to use, going straight on the plant, okay? Uh, we'll cover that in just a second. The second set point you need to be aware of is the set point for CIP mode if you're using CIP mode. Now, I'm going to cover CIP mode in a separate video. So back to your regular set point. So the idea is that, again, our system is doing two things. We are using ozone to disinfect the water. Then we're using the byproduct of that, which is the creation of dissolved oxygen. We're using that to benefit the health and production of the plants. So we need to be monitoring those two things. So what that looks like is um, you can purchase a handheld ORP meter. Uh, we also supply a panel uh, that's designed to be mobile, which I'm going to reference in the second video on CIP. But either, either way, you need to have a way to be able to read the ORP levels that are coming, you know, if it's out of a dripper or if it's in a bath or whatever it is, the water that's going to the plants. We generally recommend that you stay below 500 ORP. If you're staying below 500 ORP, say, say 450, uh, 475, something like that, then what's going to happen is you're not going to be delivering enough ozone to the plants to harm the roots. And that's important because as we go higher and higher and higher, what that means is we've got undissolved, uh, I'm sorry, we have dissolved ozone in the water that has not converted over to dissolved oxygen. And so that ozone is just like any other oxidizer. It can burn the roots of the plant. So we recommend staying in the 450 to 500 range. Now, that takes care of the ozone portion of it. We also, remember, want to be delivering the right amount of dissolved oxygen to your plants as well. And both of those things are influenced by your set point, which is what we're talking about. So generally speaking, if you're in that 450 to 500 millivolt range for your ORP, that's usually going to be fine and, and able to, to get plenty of dissolved oxygen to your plants anyway. But we also recommend that you have a dissolved oxygen meter. And we can supply one of those if one did not come with your system. But for most of our plants, we're going to be targeting over 20 parts per million for oxygen. And it's different for different plants. For cannabis, we're generally targeting about 40 to 45 parts per million. For other kinds of edible crops, uh, things like lettuce, um, we might be more in the 25 to 30 parts per million. Again, we can, we can advise you directly about that if you, if you give us a call. Uh, you know, if our dissolved oxygen levels are, are a little over what they need to be, that's not going to hurt the plant. If anything, it's just going to help. But if our ORP levels are over what they need to be, then that could be disastrous for the plant. So again, we really want to be monitoring dissolved oxygen. If it's not up to where it needs to be, then we're probably going to adjust our set point up a little bit at the system. And then we also want to be monitoring our ORP, you know, in the water that's being used to irrigate the plants so that we can make sure that we're not going to, to deliver active ozone. And we're going to do that by staying in the 450 to 500 millivolt range. What I will say to you is that ORP is highly pressure dependent. So it would be very difficult in most applications, not all, but in most applications to deliver an ORP to the plants that's actually going to harm them. We still want you to test and verify and make sure, 
because it's hard for us to account for everything that's going on in your grow when we're designing the system and walking you through these things. But again, it, in most scenarios, it would be very difficult to do that, but we do encourage you to check.